Hello, it's Sarah. And I have some ATCs. I just wanted to show you. I have them in my little house of cards. These are the kits that I ordered from... Oh my gosh, now I can't think of the name of it. The ATC store. The ATC store. And I think they turned out really cute, so I just wanted to show you. Um, I still have a couple more to do. And as I started going along, I realized... Um, what the brads were for. I didn't realize. So on this one, I didn't put the charm. This was the uh, May's card of the month, and it says, keep calm and make coffee. And everything in here was actually from the kit except for this little white bow. That's the only thing that didn't come with the kit. Oh, and the pearls. I, I added pearls too. Because it was kind of retro, and I think it just needed pearls. I actually put Wink of Stella on the blue stripe too. But I think it turned out really cute. I just think for a dollar, most of them are a dollar. Now these are super cute. These two, um, I did add a few of my own things. This one, the paper, the sentiment, um, I added a pink button and this white button and this trim here. But the image and the, um, the this button and the snap and that piece of lace and the um, pin and the name and the image, uh, this was the paper, this image, and this paper I cut, and then I added, I think that white button might have been in there, this piece of lace she gave me, the, the scissors. So a lot of it comes from the kit, but I did add a couple little things. Um, so these are both kind of sewing themed, which I thought turned out so cute. These are buttons that I order from, I mean, I don't order, I get them at Michael's. They're, um, Oh, I have a whole bag of them over here. I can't think of the, the brand off the top of my head. But I think they're really awesome little embellishments to use. You just cut the shank off the back. So those are the two sewing ones. Then I kind of figured out how to use the charms. Because each one, she pretty much puts a charm or some type of a three-dimensional thing in each um, kit. So this one had a fishy and a shell. And I had already put the back on it because it comes with brads. There were two little brads in there. And then you would put the brad through the charm and hook it onto the ATC. This is my brad. I just thought it matched. It tied in the coral paper. All the papers, the sentiment, everything came with the kit. And I just cut it and arranged it how I wanted to. And then I just glued these down since I had already put the backing on it. Um, I glued the charms down. I just think it turned out so cute. This one's Retro Beauty. And so this sh this sparkly paper was part of the kit. The sand paper. There's like an ocean looking paper. And then there's like this other sparkly paper. The image I cut. I fussy cut out the beach ball. She had that in a little piece of paper. And then this charm. And I actually glued that one on too. She had a little piece of twine, but I had this thicker type of like, um, here it is right here. I don't know what you would, it's not like, what is it called? I took that raffia. It's not raffia, but it's like a more thicker hemp or something, or I don't know what they call it. So that's the retro beauty one. It's kind of plain. I want to put a palm tree. Like if I had a little palm tree button, one of those buttons, like um, the three-dimensional buttons, I would have put a palm tree. Oh, it came with a palm tree. That's right, like a die-cut palm tree, but I just didn't like the looks of it. But I would put a little button palm tree down here, and I think that would, like, totally complete it. So that's the Retro Beauty one. This one's cute. This is the first one I did, Kiss the Cook. And this is everything from the kit except this bow. And actually, she put in a piece of red and white, um, I guess you would call it twine or... Um, but look at little cookbooks. There was one other little cookbook. This is there's like three different papers. The the, um, the sentiment, which I just cut it apart and popped it up. Um, but look how cute! Kiss the cook. It's so cute. I love it. And then I I did add the red bow just to tie in with the red twine. But a little retro. Then this one's just pretty in pink. And let's see everything in here. Everything. Um, so there's like a piece of lace. There was a little piece of black paper, that lace I laid over, this piece of trim, the sentiment, all these, um, sequins and little blings, the flowers, this, the leaf, the, the trims, everything in, on this card was in the kit. 
every single thing. And I just inked the edges and stuff. Um, I just think that turned out so cute. And then this is the last one I have. This is the Little Red Riding Hood kit. And let me look again. See, this one I finally understood. It has a tall piece of paper. Um, I used like a little piece of red. This trim here is so cute. There were two. There's like a little one day Little Red Riding Hood's mother said to her, take this basket of goodies. So I kind of just overlapped that because I wanted both of those on here to make room. I fussy cut her out and popped her up. And then she gave you this twine. I just put it on there, tied it around, and I think it turned out super cute. I just ordered a couple more. I just think they're adorable. And um, I still have a couple to do. I'm going to do the um, St. Patrick's Day tonight. I have, what do I have left? Oh, and the Easter. I didn't love the Easter, actually. I don't know why. It just, like, I didn't like the images as much. Like, I don't know. Something about that one just bugged me. <laughs> But I definitely could make a couple St. Patrick's Day ones. And I have a, another of the May ones, the coffee one. I'll open that and see what it has. But um, they're so freaking cute. I have, um, I think I got a couple of collage sheets from um, ATC's, um, the ATC store too. They had collage sheets because I'm going to alter some CDs tonight. And I'm going to, I want to start playing with more mixed media stuff. So, um, I just need more collage sheets. I need little images that you can cut out. And especially if I do, um, mixed media on ATCs, it has to be like a, a smaller, um, size. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share this. I mean, I think I did this Thursday night. I did like, it's so easy. You can sit down and everything's right in front of you. All the you know, everything you need. You don't even have to do anything. So it's a, just a really easy, quick, fun, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was like 10 bucks, I'll bet you. And, you know, we can go out and spend 10 bucks in, in a flash on, you know, nothing. And here you have 10 little cards, you know, and they fit in my house of cards. So I put it right in there. And that's it. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.